Good morning and welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle 11 and you can find me on X at Razzle 11 Grinds. We are going to take a look at some pitching for today, the 15th of May. It is Wednesday. We do have uh, split slates, six game day slate, seven game night slate. I do not believe we should have any weather issues to worry about, so we can dig mainly into the pitching matchups. Uh, reminder, this is a first look at the pitching options on the slate. I will go more in-depth as the day goes on. Uh, and the members at DFS Army will get access to my updated pools. And as always, we are looking at drafting since that's where a majority of my action is. On FanDuel, I would limit myself to the top few plays uh, and more focus more on getting my stacks correct so well let's dig in here on the six gamer uh, my initial look at the slate kind of lacking some some punch from the pitching position uh, with that said Garrett crochet at the top I don't really like paying that much uh, Washington isn't a huge K team but he has flashed some ridiculous upside struck out 11 against a team that doesn't strike out all that much in Cleveland um, there's just plenty of K upside for him. It's going to be really hard to, to not want to go there. Uh, his K prop right now sits at six and a half juice on the under. Um, he is a minus 148 favorite game total is seven and a half juice on the under in that one. Michael King coming off of a ridiculously elite performance. Um, we've seen him put up strong performances this season and then the very next start he's kind of come back down to earth uh in the two times um certainly could happen again he did struggle against this colorado squad in colorado um which was after one of his elite performances so there are some trends there to pay attention to with that being said like i'm just not afraid of this colorado lineup He's a minus 258 favorite. Game total is 7.5. Um, K-Prop looks 7.5 right now. Juice on the under, but still that K-Prop is extremely strong. Robert Gossard looked every bit of a big-time pitching prospect uh, in his debut. Was against the weaker St. Louis squad, but now he takes on a Pittsburgh squad that can definitely struggle. Uh Gets the huge price jump. Much deserved. Um, K prop is just five and a half with juice on the under. But he is a minus one forty eight favorite in this one. Uh yeah, I, I mean I definitely like um left hand pitchers against Pittsburgh. A couple bats I do worry about, you know, Connor Joe, Brian Reynolds, but um, you know, he gets to attack O'Neill Cruz. Uh, who may not even be in the lineup. Sometimes he does get days off against left-hand pitching. So uh, Gosser is somebody I'm very interested in today. Brian Wu, I am interested, but I am worried. Uh, he left his last his his season debut last start uh, with some forearm issues after starting out the year on the IL. Um, that's a bit worrisome for me. Uh, I think I'd rather gamble with Alec Marsh in that same game. He returned from the IL, looked absolutely great. Uh, it was against the Angels, but whatever. Seattle, we know, uh, last I looked, striking out the most in baseball. A uh, ton of K upside for Marsh in this matchup. Andrew Abbott, I keep falling for Abbott. Um, and I think since it's a short slate, we probably have to. Um, he's a slight underdog. K prop of 4.5. Choose on the under, though. So, like, his K numbers just haven't been very strong. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I want to really go there, but I think we have to on this slate. Um, not overly excited. I do think I'd rather play Brandon Fott, though he does, is coming off of a couple not so good starts. He has shown some K upside. He is favored in this game. Cincinnati has been struggling. His K-Prop is 5.5, which you saw on the over. 
Uh, I think he's just a better option than Abbott. Um, anybody else down here, maybe I'd consider Patrick Corbin. Feels dangerous, but he's coming off of a solid start. It's a White Sox team that we have been picking on. Um, it is gross, the fact that I'm even mentioning Patrick Corbin. But like I mentioned, the game total is just 7.5 in that game. Uh, K-Prop, th just 3.5, but choose strongly on the over. Maybe Casey Mize taking on this Miami squad. Uh, he's throwing the ball hard. He's just not picking up strikeouts. K-Prop, 4.5, choose on the under. He's a minus 175 home favorite, though. Uh, so I can see people kind of plugging him in. Um, maybe we have to consider Corbin. I don't think I want to consider Trevor Rogers yet. He's somebody in the last couple of years I've used, but he just hasn't looked good. It is against Detroit, so maybe. Um, but I guess I'd prefer to just not have to think about it. His K-Prop is 3.5 with juice slightly on the under even. So, um, yeah, it's not exciting on that slate. Uh, a little more exciting on the main slate, but even then a watered-down slate because we have just seven games. Uh, Aaron Brooks making his return. Oh. Um, starting at the top, we get Pablo Lopez against the Yankees. Uh, plenty of upside, but it's super dangerous. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to go there just because I, I feel like he's going to be overlooked a little bit. K-Prop is 6.5, juice on the under. He says, minus 135 favorite. Uh, I'm certainly interested. Tanner Houck, guy that I've been using plenty. A couple of not-so-great starts in a row, but he takes on the Tampa Bay squad that I have been picking on. I know they've been swinging it better of late, but he is a minus 130 favorite. K-Prop of 4.5 with juice really strongly on the over. Uh, I feel safer going to Houck than Lopez, but I will be using both of them. Framber Valdez, I will be using. I know Oakland has been a dangerous offense, but they do strike out a ton. Uh, Framber hasn't really had the Ks this season, but that's all right. I think he has just plenty of upside in this matchup. I'm trying to find his props, but I can't seem to locate them. Oh, there we go. Six and a half K prop, choose on the under. He is a minus 245 favorite. Stroman gets a K boost against Minnesota, but I'm not really sure I like him uh, all that much as the underdog. Charlie Morton has been really solid over his last four starts. I think he's definitely in play against this Cubs offense. Overall numbers probably slightly better when at home. Uh, they're very similar. Uh, his K's are down at home. Six and a half K prop. Uh, juice on the under. And he has a minus 170 favorite. So definitely in play for me. You know, four of the top five are definitely in play. Uh, Logan Webb probably not going to get there against the Dodgers, even though I do like taking him when he is at home. It's just a completely different pitcher. The issue is the strikeouts aren't there when he's at home. Um, so I'm probably just going to have to pass there. Lance Lynn. Not as long as I can help it, I'm just not going to go to the Atlanta win. Uh, hopefully, the numbers as I dig in later don't tell me I need to uh, because then I'm going to just be annoyed. Uh, Taj Bradley, one of the guys I really like, looked great in his season debut against a difficult Yankee squad. Price comes up, taking on Boston in Boston. He's a slight underdog on the road. Uh, K prop of five and a half juice on the over. Somebody that I like to play because of his upside. Uh, so he will definitely be in my pool. Not going to use Asad against Atlanta. John Gray against Cleveland. I'm interested just because he's been throwing the ball so well. Uh, I've kind of backed away from using pitching against Cleveland uh, the last couple of years. K-Prop of 5.5 juices on the under pretty solidly, but he's a minus 162 favorite. Game total of 9, though, so... Uh, Vegas kind of thinks we're going to see some runs scored. Aaron Brooks, I'm going to have to dig into Aaron Brooks here. Um, man, he, I remember him years ago kind of being a surprise uh, with the A's. Uh, then he kind of just disappeared. So 
uh, cool to see him back. I'm probably not using him against Houston, let's be honest, but uh, a name from the past. It's always nice to see. Uh, Griffin Canning against St. Louis, probably not going to get there. Uh, if we do see Yarbrough throw for sure tonight, uh, he's only working on a couple days rest, I guess. Um, probably more of a bullpen game, so I'm not really going to be interested. I don't mind picking on San Francisco right now. Their outfield has been decimated by injury, so the lineup is pretty weak. Uh, but we would need to find out if Yarbrough's, you know, going to go four to five innings. Uh, or if L.A. comes up with a different starting pitcher. So that's one to pay attention to as the day goes on. Uh, but there we have it. There's the first look at pitching today. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. If you want to get access to our coaches, tools, sheets, Discord, etc., I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.